generally develop our prototypes in two days. Um, this is the best that scales the production for Gram games. We used to develop the core game on the first day and then prepare the game uh, for the stores on the second day. But since then we now have a better, uh, more refined development process. So we can make the game ready for stores in a couple of hours. So that gives us more time to develop the actual game. So we start with the core itself, the toy that the game is built upon, the basic mechanic. And then we move on to the UI. Uh, UI doesn't require that much of coding uh, because uh, we already have a UI manager that we developed in-house. It's mostly manual labor. And then we move on to the tutorial part, if there is any. And then we add analytics, which uh, gives us uh, the opportunity to track the game's data. And then we ship the game. This is the basic uh, process from the idea to, the, to a shipped prototype game. The minimum required headcount is three. We need a designer, an artist, and a developer. Yes, we have 70 people here, but we are still a small studio and everyone has an idea. We have tons of ideas. So sometimes we don't have enough people for uh, prototypes. Uh, that's why some projects um, has only uh, two people, a designer, and a developer, sometimes a developer and an artist. Uh, so that means that yes, sometimes we have designer artist roles, sometimes we have developer designer roles, but never developer artist roles because that doesn't work. Uh, developers can't do art and artists can't code, unfortunately. Well, the process is very similar to production. I mean, yes, we do the same things, but in a smaller scale. For example, a designer doesn't design all the stuff, um, only the core game. A developer doesn't develop all the code that is needed for the game. But for us, if I have to say something specifically, uh, that we don't code uh, all the things, we just reuse whatever we have. Even sometimes we use old games, um, Sometimes we don't even care about the code itself. We just throw the code at the project until it works. Well, we have two secrets. One, keep it simple. Two, reuse the code you have. Keep it simple. We just develop the core game. Don't polish it too much and just ship it. Um, reuse the code, whatever you have, and uh, we just use our own frameworks and uh, use third-party libraries or plugins or frameworks. For example, we have um, Lean Touch for input management. Uh, we use uh, Lean Twin for twinning libraries. Um, we have SR Debugger for uh, in-game debugging and profiling. And then we have uh, Newtonsoft JSON for JSON parsing and stuff. And then we have our own menu managers, uh, which lets us handle the UI and all the stuff. And then we have a tutorial manager, um, which lets us uh, do the tutorials in a very fast way. So that's our secret to developing games very fast. Mm -hmm.